Oh hi there, and welcome to the Giant Chasm. The Giant Chasm is just west of Route 22 if you do not remember how to get here. Now this place is blocked off by plasma grunts until you do the plasma frigate, and then Hugh will come along and he'll be like, oh yeah, and then the plasma grunts will finally move and move along and you can explore further. Uh, the last Plasma Grunt thing dude that's here is just that ex-Plasma guy who's like, the cool good guy or whatever, secret, uh, agent spy or whatever. Anyways, the giant chasm is actually, there's no battles to fight here, it's all items and all exploration. And there are some new Pokemon to catch here as well. Uh, the first of them is a Pokemon that if you told me was strong when I originally saw the design, I would have laughed. Uh, vanilla, basically, this place is full of great Pokemon. If you haven't completed your team by this point, uh, and you're still looking for something, uh, time's running short here. You gotta pick something to complete your team. Uh, honestly, though, most people probably have their team finished by this point. The Pokemon you can get here, the first of them is Vanillish, which evolves into Vanillux, and it is a pure ice type. The thing about Vanillux is it is a very specialized in ice Pokemon. It's not very versatile. If you're looking for some more variety, then I recommend you look at the other two Pokemon that are here. And that is, includes the very, very quick and fast Sneasel, which evolves into Weavile. It's a dark ice type Pokemon, very solid, very quick. And then the other Pokemon is the hard hitting ground ice type Pillow Swine that evolves into Mammoth Swine. Both of them are excellent options to uh, use on your team as well. Um, so, three great ice type options if you're looking for an ice type Pokemon. The last Pokemon that you can catch here is Clefairy which evolves into Clefable. It's a normal type Pokemon, and though it doesn't have the greatest of stats, and it isn't the strongest of Pokemon, this Pokemon is a jack-of-all-trades Pokemon. With TMs, it can learn so many different types of moves, so if you're looking for literally a normal type Pokemon, a Pokemon that's not... it doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, it's very versatile, it can serve a lot of different purposes for you. It's not a bad Pokemon to consider. Anyways, there's a cave down there and that will progress the story, but first off we're going to do some more exploring around the place. First off, you could actually head outside over here and there's a few items you can pick up. The first of them is a yellow shard, the second of them slightly to the north here is a moonstone. And the Moonstone is very useful if you want to evolve your Clefairy into Clefable if you just caught one for whatever reason. Then we can head over to the West Tier and you could pick up a Max Potion. Uh, Max Potions aren't bad, but you never want to buy them. They're very cost inefficient. Uh, Hyper Potions are almost always better unless for whatever reason you have a Chansey or a Blissey. Because those Pokemon have like a million hit points. Uh, if you have strength on you, which you should, you can push this boulder over and that'll clear a shortcut to Route 13 and Lacunosa Town. Uh, kind of convenient to have that path there. This is also how you originally got to the Giant Chasm in black and white. A Heart Scale is on that rock and a Hyper Potion is over here, not really that hidden. And that concludes all the things you can catch outside. There are no new Pokemon on the outside of the Giant Chasm on this side. And then we can head back into the cave and there's more to explore. Uh, if you don't have repels on you, you're going to be running into a lot of Pokemon. Because this is a giant loop. You can grab a star piece here. Uh, that's just monetary value. You can sell it for money. Uh, push strength to use... Use strength to push this boulder, and you can grab a Max Repel. Max Repels are also cost inefficient compared to Super Repels. Uh, that's why I always use Super Repels, if you're wondering. They're technically cheaper for the amount of steps you get. There's two Plasma Grunts blocking this exit here. This exit leads to Route 23, which leads to Victory Road, which leads to the Pokemon League. 
So keep that location in mind, you're going to be coming back there. You can grab an Ultra Ball located here, and then if you push this boulder in, you can grab yourself a Star Piece, again for money. And there's one last item you can grab, and that is over here, behind another boulder. And this is an Ice Gem, if I recall correctly. Yep. And then whatever you want to do to get back to that cave, I'm just going to hook right. Yeah, it's a lot of running around. Uh, if you're not that, like, if you don't really care about items that much, and you just want to beat the game, then there's actually not a lot of reason to run around, but uh, that's your personal choice. Anyways, going outside here, there is a scene going on with the Plasma Grunts. Hugh's going to be here as well. And they're going to talk. And Rude is like, You don't understand. You're, 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 you have to change your ways and join me in the dark side of the, fo I mean, the, uh, I mean, in being good guys. Yeah. And the, uh, the normal Team Plasma Grunts are going to be like, Never! You're foolish, old man. Yeah. And then Hugh's going to unleash his rage, as per usual. And then... This is the only battle we get to fight until we get into the Plasma Frigate again. And it's with some Plasma Grunts. So yay, this is actually a single battle and not a double battle. Just keep that in mind. That was easy. Anyways, Rude's gonna run over and he's actually gonna give you some max revives, three of them to be exact. Max revives are always useful. You may need them for the Elite Four if you're under leveled, but uh, generally that's an item I sit on and never use. It's because uh, that's one of those items. I remember I made a little uh, rant a while ago about how I never use items and they just sit in my bag forever. Max Revives are one of those items. It's like, well, I might need that Max Revive later, so I'm just going to use a normal revive. And then I never use my Max Revives, and they sit in my bag and never get used. Anyways, Hugh's going to run off to the Plasma Frigate. Rude's going to leave an opening, fighting off the Team Plasma backup. But before we go there, there's a few more things we can pick up. The first of them is a Razor Claw. This raises your holder's critical strike, uh, critical hit rate. Uh, it also evolves Sneasel into Weavile if you level up in the nighttime. So that's good if you just caught a Sneasel. And then there's actually another Moonstone you can get up here. There's also two new wild Pokemon you could obtain here. The first of them is the normal type Ditto. And Ditto learns one move, Transform. It's a really bad Pokemon. Don't use it on your Pokemon team itself. Its only purpose, and I'm trying to think of a way to word this without sounding inappropriate or uh, uh, really... Uh, <laughs> basically, the purpose of Ditto is to breed. You put it in daycare and you breed it with another Pokemon and you lay daycare eggs and hatch them and make more Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> If you're into competitive battling and you want to train a Pokemon to be competitive on your own without cheating, uh, you need to learn, you probably want to look into the details of how breeding mechanics work in Pokemon. Ditto can help you in that goal. The other Pokemon here is the Psychic Steel type Matang, which evolves into Metagross. And these are located on the outside area of the Giant Chasm where we're at now just in case I didn't mention that. Uh, as for Matang and Metagross, still Psychic type, if you need those types and you still are looking for another Pokemon, just use this Pokemon. It's such a good Pokemon. Metagross is absolutely amazing. Good stats, good moves, really solid, strong choice. Anyways, that wraps up the Giant Chasm. 
Next up is the Plasma Frigate for the second time, round two. Again, it's different depending on if you're playing black two or white two, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm going to cover that next part. So, thank you, and good night.